Hello, I'm Joe Rimmelspach in the Department of Plant Pathology at Ohio State University. And today we're going to cover um, several things for turf tips. I want to um, mention a little bit about diseases, what's going on here in the uh, Ohio area. Talk a little bit about roots and also about uh, nematode management. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to mention again that we're at, coming to the end of uh, Ohio Turf Week. And um, this is a great opportunity for you to share um, with your colleagues or members if you're at a club uh, the importance of turf, uh, the benefits of it, um, what you do for your work, and how they benefit from it. So uh, those are some things to include. Also, uh, I just want to mention also for Ohio Turfgrass Foundation uh, with their campaign uh, Bucks for Turf, if you'd like to donate um, some item to uh, support the organization, that'd be wonderful. Uh, and also to encourage you to go online if you'd like to bid on something. So today, um, as far as diseases, we aren't seeing a lot of activity. It's been relatively dry this last week. It's been fairly hot but dry. So as far as infectious diseases, we have uh, not a whole lot going on. Um, there is some dollar spot lingering on, et cetera, but it's pretty minor. Um, also, I do want to mention, though, looking at the weather forecast, uh, if we have uh, thunderstorms this weekend and it stays hot, uh, the, for those of you who have had to deal with anthracnose on greens, uh, this would be a, a, a prime time for that infection to develop. Um, it usually starts when it's hot and humid under wet conditions. So if you have a history of the problem or a green that's more prone to anthracnose, especially the anthracnose basal rot on Poania, you might want to do some preventative measures and, and keep a close eye on things. Also, I want to mention um, and encourage you to, uh, with the increase in temperatures, to, to look at your turf and to examine things for root structure, uh, for root depth. Um, as temperatures go up, as you know, in the soil, uh, oftentimes our root structure will shorten. Um, this can lead to uh, a lot of changes in your management strategy and potential disease problems. So maybe whoever's uh, changing cups on your greens uh, to start monitoring things, especially on wheat greens. Uh, some people are very systematic. They do this every week and they chart uh, the rooting depth and compare it to past years and that is used for guidelines for different spray uh, programs or different changes in management strategies. So I'd like to encourage you to do that. Also in sp uh, about talking about roots, I want to mention a little bit about nematodes. Uh, in the last couple years due to warm summer conditions, we had an increase in the number of uh, um, actually um, confirmed cases of root parasitic nematodes on turf in Ohio. Um, until recently, we have not had a lot of um, products available for management of this. So right now, um, we have three products in Ohio that you, that you can use. Uh, the Nordica, uh, Nordica product that is from Bayer has been around for some time. It uh, needs to be positioned primarily as a preventative and it maintains root health. Um, there's two new products that have been given uh, 24C labels this year. First, uh, Avid from Syngenta, and also MultiGuard Protect from AgriGuard. Um, these are different products. They both can be used now in golf in Ohio for nematode management. If you've had problems in this area, uh, you'll want to investigate each of these products, and then uh, they each have their pros and cons that you want to kind of look at to see if it fits your needs best. Uh, historically, then, uh, what we do have is uh, there's a lot number of biologicals on the market that you could consider. Um, their results have been somewhat um, variable and maybe short term. Um, and of course, if you happen to have any Nemacure or availability of it, um, even though the sales stopped back, I think in 2008, you can still use it according to the label instructions. Um, last, I'd just like to end up, uh, we mentioned last week about um, the family of fungicides turf chart. This was developed to help primarily golf course superintendents know um, what chemical family the different fungicides are in so they could uh, best design a program for managing diseases at a course and avoid resistant problems. This is both posted on the OTF site and it's also on our site which is uh, turfdisease.osu.edu and um, again I'd just like to encourage you to uh, promote turf since we're finishing up the Ohio Turf Week and I wish you, I uh, hope you have a great week and uh, we'll see you next week.